Today we're going to start working on making our fish for our ceramics project. We'll start by getting out some clay, a tool kit, and a slip container. You'll have a tablecloth on your table and a baggie with your magic number on it. This baggie is important to store your clay in between classes. Pick up your big ball of clay and start to roll it. Remember, we want to use our hands to pack it like a snowball, and you can use your fingers to smooth out any bumps. Make sure you're using your palms to push, and you're not using the table to roll. That will make a flat ball, and we want it to be nice and round. Clay likes when you use your hands to push it and pack it together. Once I've got my nice round ball, I'm going to keep holding it in my hand and use my other thumb to cowabunga on in. Make sure you get to your knuckle. Then use your duck beak to pinch and twist your pinch pot. Remember, you want to make sure that you are not getting too skinny and your fingers are not on the top of the pot. They're down low on my pot. Slow and careful so your pot's not lumpy. Then I'm going to use my thumb to smooth out the clay. I'm just dragging it and pressing it. If I see any bumpy bits, I'm trying to make my fish have nice smooth fish lips. I'm gonna put my pot sideways, use my two fingers to push down on the bottom so that the bottom is a little bit flat so my fish won't roll away later. He's gonna hang off to the side right now. With some extra clay, I'm going to pinch two little balls, one, two. I'm going to try to make them the same size and see if they look like they are the appropriate size for my pinch pot. If I like them, I can roll them in my hands to make a ball shape. One fisheye. Smooth them out if you need to. Two fisheye. This one's way easier because the ball is so much smaller. Now, to attach my eyes, we have to do something new. When we were doing Play-Doh, we were having problems with our eye sticking. We have to use this stuff. It's called slip. Slip is just a lot of water and clay mixed together, and it makes something like clay glue. When we put slip on clay, we need to make sure it has somewhere to stick, and so we do something called scoring. That just means we scratch the clay. Every clay artist knows that when you want to put two clay pieces together, you have to score, slip, and stick those pieces together to keep them from falling apart later. You're going to use a toothbrush, and he's going to go in your slip, and you're going to scrub a dub dub on your eye to score him. And I'm going to scrub a dub dub on my head where he's going to go also. I'm going to get my other eye scored and slipped, scrub a dub dub. And the next part is to attach. Now, you can't be wimpy when you attach these guys. Fingers on the inside and eye on the outside, and I'm twisting like a knob. Twist, twist, twist. Or you can pretend you're like a DJ. Eat, 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 eat with that record player. You want to grab your other eye, put it right next door. We're not going to leave any space. Fingers back in, and push and twist. Make sure you don't push so hard that you flatten but you want to make sure you give it a wiggle test. If your eye wiggles and is about to fall off, he's not stuck. But if I wiggle him and he feels like he's sturdy, he is good to go. Take some time to smooth out any other areas of your fish's mouth or body. If you notice some cracks or lumps or bumps, the smoother your fish's body, the better it will be when we glaze it. When you're done smoothing everything out and your fish looks great, you're going to grab your baggie, open up your baggie, and you're going to set your fish inside all the way in. You are not going to zip the baggie. That's really important because we want to get all the air out. So I'm going to roll out the air by rolling my baggie up. My number is still showing, so it will be easy for me to find later, and I need to give it to Miss Bergman. Then I will wash my hands in the sink. And if I'm done early, I can go read a book at the rug.